Hi, it's Mark Marmer from the 2023 Auto Show, and we're at the Kia booth. And this is sort of a stripped-down version of how the vehicle looks without the body. I'm here with... French for Roy. So what we're looking at here right now is what we call the new Electric Global Modular Platform. The first vehicle designed on this platform was the EV6. Mm -hmm. There will be multiple models on the platform because this platform is scalable. What we're talking about, different size of vehicles. If you see where the Kia logo is, yep. that big black platform, that's the battery pack. Okay. And this one here shows you a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is our long range battery for the EV6. Okay. EV6 come uh, first in a standard range, rear wheel drive so the main motor on this is the back motor so this platform is rear wheel drive first the battery pack would stay the same size but less modules inside less cells this is a typical all-wheel drive with the long range main motor secondary motor together will give you about 326 horsepower on the GT it gives you 576 horsepower oh, wow. because we have bigger motors this is a fully dedicated electric platform. It was not modified from a gas platform. This is, I think, the part that caught my eye. And we talk about how little we're spending to have to maintain the vehicles. The car is fun to drive and easy. And I think a lot of it comes from this level of simplicity. And until you sort of strip the body off, you don't really get to, to, to see that. There's no <laughs> transmission. There's just a planetary gear set at each motor mm -hmm. because an electric motor, not like a gas engine, you can make it spin as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Mm -hmm. You don't need that transmission because a gas engine, you're usually limited around 55 to 6,000 RPM. There's no oil to change. There's no transmission oil to change. There's no drive shaft component. It's very, very simple. And you talked about the positioning of the batteries. The fantastic thing about this EGMP platform it the batteries are under the vehicle in the middle it gives you more room inside the vehicle but also you're talking about very well balanced vehicle very low center of gravity extremely stable also what's the great thing about this is uh, that all the electric motors and all the components are controlled by electronics by computers mm -hmm. so it's easy to do a software update to give you maybe a little more horsepower and all these type of technology will come down the road so are these over-the-air updates is that the plan or it, I, I need to bring it in. You would have to go in the dealership to get it done right now. These are very peppy. An electric motor is not the same thing as a gasoline motor. I find it's almost immediate. It's fun. And what makes it fun is what we call torque. On a gasoline engine, you got to bring the car up to a certain RPM. The fantastic things about electric motors, torque is instant. As soon as you touch an accelerator, you get full torque. It's fun. I know that the biggest problem at the moment is not a demand, is supply. How are we doing? Because we have customers want these cars. Yeah. It's yeah. not just the chip shortage. Every manufacturer right now is getting their own EV models, their own electric models. Unfortunately, the batteries we use, the lithium polymer batteries that every manufacturer uses, there's only a few manufacturers of those. They can only supply so many batteries for so many manufacturers. At Kia, we're doing quite well, actually. Our, our inventory this year is going to go up because we have multiple models. We just announced a multi-billion dollar investment at a brand new electric electric vehicle assembly plant mm -hmm. and a battery plant of our own. We're finding here, certainly in Canada, the vehicles are ending up in BC and they're ending up in Quebec. Is it going to get better? Are we going to start to see more? So federal and provincial incentives are big in Quebec. You can get up to $12,000 of incentive in, in Quebec. Same as in BC, you have a federal and provincial incentive. Unfortunately, in Ontario now, we only have the federal at $5,000. Uh, also, it's not just that, it's the infrastructures of the charging station. Quebec, BC are quite good, Ontario is getting better and better. So definitely we need to supply the vehicles where are the highest demand for our customers, where the infrastructure is, and definitely uh, the incentive may play a big role. And not just that, all our dealers have to be certified, so our plan for the end of 2023 is to have all our dealers in Canada fully certified to sell and service electric vehicles. That's great. I think that's fantastic. We've got this uh, mindset of electric vehicles being expensive. No, we're going to have vehicles in all kinds of ranges for all kinds of people. It's just going to take a little bit of time. As volume comes more and more, as the technology evolves, definitely the price have come down. Definitely the Nero right now is a very affordable electric vehicle. As anything else, as more and more manufacturers get into the electric vehicles, definitely prices will be a lot better for people.
That's great, Rich. Thank you so much for taking the time. I wish Kia uh, good luck, and uh, I think you're, you're well positioned to take a nice piece of the market. Great. Thank you very much, and you have a fantastic auto show.